How are you, Ted? How are you? I'm good. I'm, good. I'm surprised I got right on. Where is the rest of the people who want to get on? Is there they're no all They're all hiding behind you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you are, you know, when, when you are in the battlefield, there is a strong warrior in, in the front field, and then everyone is hiding behind him, right? So they can see mm. what, what's going to happen to that warrior, and then everyone decides to jump on afterwards. Uh, now, uh, the title here, I want to make sure I say in your format here, the title is Non-Muslims Question Islam. So is there yeah. a topic I need to be held to here, or what? Well, uh, the, the format of my channel is very different from other people's channel. It's basically... <laughs> Uh, my rules are you have to be respectful, right? Sure. Uh, you, do, you do not insult, personal insults or uh, insulting religious figures, all of that is not going to be tol tolerated. And uh, being respectful, letting me speak while I let you speak, etc. We let each other speak. And then I usually just have a casual conversation with the people, you know? I'm not, I'm not sure. the type of person who, who will try to kind of... Uh, necessarily box someone in a specific uh, conversation you know so uh, usually the conversation is about if you are not a non-muslim why are you not muslim and if you have an issue with islam okay. why do you have an issue with islam and all of that this is usually the kind of topic okay sorry always hope you can jump on that you'll find the link in the comment section just click on the link and then you can jump on and talk if you are christian always hope okay uh, okay so like so uh, let me ask you a question let me start by asking you a question right Okay, why did you decide to come on the live stream? <laughs> That's the question that I will ask you first. Uh, I've seen some of your videos, and I feel like uh, they were not accurately... Uh, the people who took the side that they took were not accurately, accurately portrayed in a logistics point of view. And I felt that, Are you your, speaking? I felt that your ability to uh, debate them was full of assumptions and um, bad. So I thought I'd come on. Okay, so are you speaking on behalf of atheists, basically? Atheist ignorance, slash uh, Well, I can't speak on behalf of anyone else, but I can. I suppose I can speak on the behalf of atheism itself, as far as words concerned. Sure. You. Why do you feel like you, a specific, a normal atheist, uh, have the right to speak on behalf of everyone in atheism? Well, you're the one who asked me the question. Do you speak on no, behalf? No, no. And, and I said I, I can't speak for everyone else, but I can speak as far as my position is concerned. Oh no, I thought you said you can speak on behalf of atheists uh i can s well or atheism do you know what the word atheism means yeah we can go into the etymology and say well, the word comes from a and then no i don't, uh, I, don't care about what it, I don't care about the, i don't care about that i just mean the word atheism but that's where the atheist, word comes from isn't it the word atheist is the prefix a means without and theist means belief in god so but can, you just did what i said i can that's speak, what i was just saying i can speak on the position yes i can't speak for other people but i can speak on on the position yes yeah, but that's what I was saying. Going to the etym what you've just done is just you went to the etymology. That's based on the Greek a and without a meaning without and theos God. So atheist is someone who's without God, right? So you you went to the etymology. That's what I was saying. If that's without what you belief. wanted to do, yeah. But, yeah. No, no, but it would be without God there. Without a no, theos no, there. It's, it's without belief in God because theist means belief in God. So a is means without or no. So without belief in God is what that is. Yeah, so without a God, right? No, without belief in God. Without belief so, in God. So, so what's the difference between without belief in well, God and without theist, God? Well, theist means belief in God. Atheist means without or no belief in God. So you're not without God. You're without belief in God. Technically speaking, everyone is without belief. Is without God because we, God is like a made up concept. It's nothing that it's it's not. Okay. Scientific. Okay. Good. You just made a, a claim right now, right? God is sure. a made up concept. Can sure, you prove sure. that God is a made up concept? I don't have to. Uh, basically, it's like you asking me, can you prove that there is no Tinkerbell or no Tooth Fairy? Of course I can. not These are things that we made up, and uh, I can't disprove. I can't disprove a positive. So I, okay, so the person with a positive claim that says there is a God is actually the one with the burden of proof. Not no, no, but, okay, sure. Now, to answer what you've just said, no one here has made claims so far except you. And the claim that you, you posited right. is that there is, God is a made up concept, which is a positive sure. claim. Okay. Sure. So you, yes, but and, it does and, not and require, the absence, If you allow me, like I allow you. We Go need ahead. to allow each other to talk, right? Okay. Sure. So I just I will allow you, and you allow me, right? So you making the, the claim there's absence of evidence. You know that there is yeah. a very well known thing is the absence of evidence does not mean evidence of absence. Just like you, because you did not come across evidence mm -hmm. for a specific thing, whether it is the the, the fairy tooth fairy tale or whatever it is, that doesn't mean that thing doesn't exist. But sure. now to compare to compare an imaginary creature 
with an entity that most people believe in. Most people believe them throughout history. We've got multiple thousands of people who, who uh, claim, or let's say millions of people who claim to have experiences with that entity. We've got b b books, prophets, messengers throughout history that have been sent, speaking about or saying that they're sent by the entity. Compare it to a concept like the <laughs> Tooth Fairy Tale. I would say that's not a fair thing to do. That's a very very uh, disingenuous thing to do that's what i would personally say but okay what is the gist from uh, you you said you you want to come on behalf of atheism or atheist or whatever you think you can present and you saw that when i was talking to the people i was not saying correct things do you have a specific point that you want to bring up well uh, i just want to address what you've just said because uh yes i mean assertion that god is made up but like i said i can't i can't say that there is no god it's like if i okay, do say you. there is no if, if i do say there is no God, I can only do as accurately as I say that there is no Tinkerbell or Peter Pan, because none of these things actually have uh, scientific evidence in the real world. They are just things that we've created. So although it is a statement that I've made, uh, it does not require a proof or evidence from me. Why do you assume that all only type of evidence is scientific evidence? Well, you need something that's testable, right? We need something we need to be able to test the information. Uh, that someone's not gives us to show that it's correct. If we can't test it, then we can't know that what the person's saying is accurate. But that's not the scientific method, though. The scientific. Well, do you know what the scientific method is? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Go ahead with your statement. Go ahead with your statement. No, no, I'm not but play you, twenty you, questions. No, no, no. But you just were speaking on behalf of science, yeah, sci right? The word science means to know. It's about our knowledge. Our knowledge. No, I was talking world. about scientific method. What is yeah, the scientific need, method? Which, so, which is the whole science is based upon, obviously, scientific okay. method. Right. Scientific method is to study the physical, natural world mm -hmm. through experimentation, repeatability, and falsification. Right. right. So we only study things which we can empirically test. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are things which other forms of logic and deductive reasoning that we use that can be a, a valid form of epistemology, which is a different source of knowledge that is not necessarily based on science. Like for example, if I said to you, prove science using science, you're not going to be able to do that. Because that would be self-defeating secular reasoning. So not everything is proved through science. What science else do we itself, use besides science? Science, yeah, I'm telling you. Science itself has assumptions, like, for example, mathematics, reasoning, logic, things which are intuitive, like, for example, that we exist, that the universe exists. All of these are things which are assumptions that science has to rely on. Science relies on the idea that everything will remain constant. It will, it, tomorrow will be like yesterday, and yesterday will buy, be like tomorrow and next week, right? All of these are assumptions that science cannot prove, that are not based on the scientific me method, that are not testable, but without them, science cannot function. So the uh, deductive reasoning, mathematics, for example, as a form of deductive reasoning, without science cannot work without these things. But these things can work outside of science, and they are legitimate by themselves to prove the existence of a specific thing or not. I don't think they work outside of science. I think uh, yeah, mathematics math is, doesn't work outside is, of science. Math is conceptual. We use that, yes. Um, but um, I don't see what that has to do with the existence of your God. Like, what does that have to do? No, with no, but, but you, we have to be honest in the, in the conversation, Ted, right? You just said they cannot be course. used, and then you agreed they can be used with, like like mathematics, right? Uh, when, uh, I didn't speak Why about my God. Why would mathematics not be scientific? Why would mathematics if you just allow me, you just you just allow me to finish, yeah. right? When you when you say your God, I'm not bringing any God yet, right? We're just having a, a, a chill conversation about epistemology, right? I didn't go, go into religion yet about my God or your God or their God, right? It's only one God. But my point is very simple. I was saying you were you made a statement that there is no scientific evidence for those things. I would say that's right. not the only type of evidence out there. Testimony can be a valid type of evidence. Deductive reasoning can what? be a valid, what, a valid. What was the first Testi one? Testimony can be a, va a valid type of you knowledge. You think you think testimony is valid? Of course, science evidence. relies on testimony. Uh, I think evidence is the lowest form of evidence for anything. Uh, evidence is the lowest we, form of evidence. We you mean testimony? Tes yeah, I said testimony. Oh. You can't you said use. Evidence, but it's okay. You can't use someone's story as a verification that something exists. Like if I say that Tinkerbell is true and I say, how do you know that? And I gave you a testimony, that's not really gonna give me evidence of testimony. Why do you I'm, assume, yeah, why do you assume all testimony is equal? It cannot be, it cannot be tested. It's That's why we require- No, 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 no. Why do you assume, I want you to listen to, just try to work with me, yeah? Why do you assume all types of all types of testimony is equal? All history is based on testimony, for example. But it's not a testimony if one individual who says X, X exists. It's multiple source, sources that are often separated by time or separated by space that they would not be colluding to present that information, which makes the information reliable. If I'm going to uh, my building and there is uh, someone coming down and saying, there's a fire, there's a fire, run away. Okay, I don't need then, an analogy. 
I don't, I don't need an analogy. No, but it's not. You're not the only person here. There's people watching as well. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it can be beneficial for them, but right? They're not really having the conversation. We are. No, no, no. So. But it's okay to clarify for people listening as well, all right? right? So That's... ignoring their existence is not a nice thing to do. I would say not everyone has the same level of intelligence as you are. I'm, I'm assuming you understood my point, but yes. some people might not have understood it, right? So someone coming down saying there's a fire. This, that's one person. That's one testimony. Now the, another person comes. Another person comes. Another person comes. Yes. And all of them claiming there is there is a fire. That's a legitimate. Uh, re, it's very legitimate for us to accept that testimony as a source of knowledge. Uh, or unless we say all of these people are crazy, just running and saying there's fire for no reason, right? Uh, okay. That's that's. Uh, first of all, I, I understand you want to try to point things out for your listeners. However, that is a false analogy because we know that fires exist. We don't know what God is. So it's two different things. We, we <laughs> when no did idea. I say testimony is proof of God? Well, it's if you try to say that there are other ways of knowing something, testimony you have a problem is one with God, them. Ted, don't you? Not... I think you have a big issue with God, Ted, and, and you see God everywhere, right? Well, it doesn't matter what I talk about. It doesn't matter why I talk. It doesn't matter that, why I that's talk. That's what about. the topic of this conversation is about. You're a, you're no. a Muslim. You believe in a god, and no, I do not. I'm an atheist. No, no, nothing in in the, the the since the start of this conversation. I did not mention anything about God. You've did well, that. Well, that's okay. Two that's three, fine. Two, okay, two I'll, or three I'll times, take, right? Well, that's sure. Fine. Then so, I'll so be I know it's okay. You. It's okay. You see God in your life. Maybe you had a bad experience or something. I don't know what it is. What? But right now, I'm not talking about God. I'm talking in abstract. I was talking. I don't believe in any God, so I don't have a bad experience with the God. It's okay. No problem it's it's all right it's okay so all i was saying is the following there's something called epistemology and epistemology is the sources of knowledge i was talking about testimony being a valid source of knowledge that is now to do with god or not to do with god that's a separate discussion now we're, we're talking about whether testimony is a valid source of valid source of information or not i give an example of the fire because that's a valid source of information for us to accept the testimony of those people that there was a fire now if you want to move into god and not god that's a, a separate story all i'm establishing here is that there's something called epistemology uh, your reaction don't change what I'm saying, by the way, right? So all I'm <laughs> establishing here, there's something called ep epistemology, and these are different sources of knowledge coming to to acquire knowledge about the world. It's not the only way is a scientific method. That no one believes that, right? And maybe some atheists do, but <laughs> not the rest of the world, because the people who are practicing what, science themselves, they what, know that comes, there is... When it comes to asserting that a God exists, yes, a being exists, something that we know nothing about exists. Yes, you will need, not only do you need evidence that so it exists, but you also need a definition of what that thing is. So Excellent. trying to so use an analogy, to well, that's why just it. I, I, what do you mean to me? I don't believe in a God. I don't know what it is. What, when you when you just said there is no God, what what idea or conception or, or, or understanding did you have in your mind when you said that? Uh, I don't have a definition for it. I'm just going by uh, an, a an abstract. What does the word mean to you? The word. Just an abstract idea that uh, is not well defined. People try to attribute it as a creation of everything. Okay. It's, it's, it's basically this power that created everything. But, okay. and, and that's what people try to, that's what people assert it is, but they don't really give much of a definition. So technically, we Muslims have no don't give idea. you a definition of God? We do not have a valid definition of a God, nor do we have any good evidence to show that one exists. So that's the problem that, that we have in any religion, whether it be yours or Christianity or, or thousands of other religions that are out there that have deities in them. Okay, so m Muslims, when they speak to you, they don't give you a description of God? I don't know if you no, spoke with Muslims no before. No one or not. gives a very good definition of a deity. No, no, not very good. It's just subjective to you. We're not really interested in subjective feelings here. I'm talking. Do they give a definition of God or not? It's not about subjective feelings. It's about one that's scientific. Uh, again, we, we, we're, 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 we're going in a circle here. The reason I there's no this reason idea, to think that God Ted, Ted, does not Ted, have if you allow me to finish, cases. Ted, Ted, I don't know why you're getting angry. Look, relax, Ted. We're just having a nice. Well, it's just right? the way that you phrase yourself. No, no yourself. need. No, no need for you to get angry. I don't know why you get well, angry. Look, then, look, look you know, relax, 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 Ted. Okay, look, I'm saying to you, very nicely, the reason I dealt with this idea of epistemology is to reject this premise that you have that everything has to be scientific then you come back again after us discussing what epistemology is and it's not the only valid source of knowledge and you say but that's not scientific we just agree that not everything has to be scientific because there's other valid sources of knowledge okay so what can you use to show a god exists that it, if, if are you saying that does not uh, require science i'm not trying to show you god exists who said to you i'm trying okay. to show you god exists all right why don't you share with me what you think a god is and how you know one exists 
Okay, thank you. That's much better. I like. I appreciate this way of saying it, right? Because let me let me establish something very important. Me as a Muslim specifically, my religion doesn't teach me to convince anyone. I personally believe, or I personally know that the idea of God's existence is innate within every human being. And there oh. is many. There is a lot of research already to establish that. Like Oxford University conducted a study. P people are atheists like yourself who speak on behalf of their own atheism. Like uh, Justin Barrett conducted the experiment, 57, 57 academics, and he it was in a period of three years, and they brought children from different countries, and they concluded that this idea, belief of God is innate. Every civilization that existed in human history believed in some sort of a higher entity. They all had this idea in their mind. It's a part of their human existence and nature. For me, this idea and movement of atheism is a new thing. And you can say whatever, I'm, I'm telling you what I believe. You don't have to accept what I believe. You just ask me to, to tell you what I think, right? So I'm telling you what I think. I'm not trying to convince you here. I don't need to. So this is why I think it's a part of the uh, human existence. And I'm given this re research as an idea for that. There's many other evidences as well. Also, what we say as Muslims is the following. The description of God is very simple. Uniquely one. Independent. Meaning everything else has to rely and depend on that thing. And eternal. Does not beget nor is born. Meaning it does not... It does not resemble the creation of the, the reproductive organs and having something before it and something after it because that would not make any rational sense. And it is completely unique in, in, in its existence. So it does not resemble anything. Anything that we see or think about does not resemble the creator. The creator is beyond that, right? This is our description of God, description of what we call Allah. It's very simple. There's one creator. Oh, you think it's simple? Really? Independent. Yeah, there's one creator wow. that is independent, self-sufficient. It's not like his creation. Okay, so these are words mm -hmm. that you... So that, you, that was made up about your God, but it doesn't really tell us what it is, right? Uh, can you explain what you mean? Words made up about my God? What do yeah, you mean it's, yeah, yeah. Basically, it does, tells us nothing of what this God is. I mean, do you know of anything that's eternal? So, do, do you know of you, anything that's independent? Like, what does it mean to be independent? How's that? Is in, is English your first language? Okay. Uh, no, it's and, a question. It's a genuine question. Is English your first language? Look, just answer the question. But I'm asking you a question to explain to you. Do you know of anything that's eternal? Is How English you tell us anything about? Is English your? I will answer the question. But can you just deal with what I said? Is English Ass your first language? Assume it is and continue, please. Okay. Do you understand English well? What do you think? I'm asking you. I don't want to make assumptions. Just continue the conversation. Yes. Why are you <laughs> very aggressive for what reason? Okay. Look, the reason I'm asking you is because I just spoke to you in English, and then you said that that doesn't give us. Any information, which yes. is it's one That's of two correct. things. It's either you heard nothing I said, or you don't understand English language. Or so I assume. So I assume, or, again, or again, you're interrupting you me when I'm speaking. Look, or look, Ted, 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 be honest with me. Look, look, question. Ted, be honest with me. Do, do I let you speak, or do I interrupt you when you speak? Oh, be honest. Boy. Wow, you're not going to answer that, are you? You're, you're very. Uh, you're, you're just slightly, like I let you speak. Slightly patronizing. Just, I don't and know how that's being patronized. I don't know. Yes, okay, no, no problem. Yes, I, I am sorry you feel that way, but the point well, is it's, this. It's right? pretty evident. Yeah. No problem. The point is this. You, I will let you speak. You let me speak. That was the rules from the beginning of the discussion, right? So me reminding you of the rules is not, is not me being condescending. It's me reminding you what I said I didn't the say that was. I didn't say that was. No, but you were interrupting multiple times, and I said to you, I, you let I, me speak. Okay? So when I was saying, do you understand English language? Because it was one of two options. Either you, you, you didn't listen to any word I said, or you do you do not understand the English thing. When we or, say something or, is on, again, me. again. No, no, those are not the only <laughs> options. Those are not look, the Ted, only options. Ted, Ted, no, no, no. Ted. Excuse me. I would on. recommend uh, Ted. Hold Ted, I, I would recommend that probably you go to uh, someone who's uh, specialized in medicine. Perhaps you have anger issues. Wow. And things like that. So this is I don't, how you debate. I don't think I don't I think the issue is to do with God's existence. You use uh, these weird words here. No problem. Ted, do you need anything else before I let you go? Well, I want you to explain how you think that that defines your God in any way. I can't way explain if you. I can't explain if you shout at me. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You gotta do things your own little way that does not pertain to the conversation. You can't have a, log a logical discussion on it, can you? Okay. Pleasure talking to you, Ted. Yeah. Okay. And I hope Allah guides you one day. And what is that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Read the Quran. Read the Quran. It's I can send you a copy if you like. If you. What does that tell us about if, anything? How does if, that tell if, us what a God is? It, How? It, it, tell, it tells us very well. I, you know, oh, I've, been, I've been doing this for a very. Uh, oh, I've been. Does not. No. I, I've been doing this for a while, and every person on earth I spoke to, and I, I give them the description of. Eternal? Is okay, a chipmunk independent? Is nice it chipmunk Nice talking to you, Ted. No problem. <laughs> nice talking to you. I, if you can, like, hold the conversation. He's very angry for some reason. I don't know. Maybe something happened.